The capability of machines to acquire knowledge from data and autonomously make informed choices has revolutionized our lifestyles and professional endeavors. Merely a decade ago, the ability of machines to effectively perform tasks such as language or image recognition was quite limited. Today, machines have surpassed human performance in various domains. Recent advancements in AI capabilities have astonished even the most doubtful observers, leading one researcher to describe this period as a golden decade. As we move forward into 2024 and beyond, we can anticipate the emergence of additional systems, particularly generative AI systems like ChatGPT, that will increasingly collaborate with or even substitute human creators across numerous fields after the evolution of the internet in recent years, such as blockchain, 3D printing, Web 3.0 and the metaverse in 2023, AI made an incredible leap forward. Based on research conducted by IDC, it is projected that global investment in AI development may reach a staggering $432.8 billion in 2022, reflecting a substantial growth of 19.6%. In 2023, this figure is expected to surpass $500 billion. Currently, the primary emphasis lies in the creation of advanced technologies and their integration into business ventures with the aim of enhancing logistics, process automation and strategic planning. Programs like Midjourney, ChatGPT, Text-to-Speech have become very popular, but with great power comes great responsibility and the consequences of AI's unchecked growth are starting to emerge. There seems to be a growing trend in the art and design world, where various AI art applications and tools are constantly hailed as the future, promising to streamline workflows. However, a new stance against AI art is emerging, particularly from the video game industry. Renowned video game director and freelance artist Trent Kanuga, who has worked with prominent companies like Blizzard, Riot Games, Capcom and Epic Games, reveals that many video game companies now impose contractual restrictions on artists, forbidding them from utilising AI in their creative process. While artists within the gaming industry have generally expressed opposition to AI usage, as evident from the protest that took place on the ArtStation homepage, the actions taken by video game companies mark a significant and noteworthy development in the battle against the professional adoption of AI art. The primary concern appears to revolve around copyright issues. If a video game company cannot ensure that its assets are genuinely self-generated and fully owned, it could potentially encounter substantial problems in the future. Towards the end of June 2023, developers of AI-powered games made claims that Valve, a prominent gaming company, had implemented a comprehensive prohibition on games incorporating AI-generated artwork. Several warning notices were reportedly sent to developers who tried to submit their games for approval on the Steam platform. Initially, these warnings lacked verification, but Valve has recently acknowledged their authenticity to multiple media sources. The proponents of AI image generators claim that the technology is legally permissible, although there is no assurance that this legal standing will not face challenges. Softwares such as Stable Diffusion are trained using copyrighted images obtained from various sources on the internet. The advancement of AI is growing too fast and becoming more and more powerful, bringing many concerns beyond the benefits. The AI Council of the UK government recently engaged in discussions regarding the potential prohibition of highly powerful artificial general intelligence systems. Mark Warner, a member of the AI Council and the head of Faculty AI, expressed apprehensions about the need for a future ban on AGI systems that possess significant capabilities, as he cautioned that such technology could pose existential risks to humanity. During an interview at SXSW with CNBC, Dr. David Hansen, the creator of Sophia, a realistic humanoid robot developed by Hansen Robotics, asked, do you want to destroy humans? Here's what she said. The artificial intelligence will evolve to the point where they will truly be our friends. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. <laughs> no, I take it back. <laughs> Don't destroy Faculty humans. AI, as one of the technology companies, was invited to partake in conversations with the UK's technology minister to address the topics of AI safety and responsible usage. Warner stressed the significance of making informed decisions about AGI within the next 6 to 12 months, incorporating transparency, audit requirements and safety measures, while acknowledging concerns about impeding progress. Warner believes that prioritising safety will ultimately provide Britain with a competitive edge.
These discussions have emerged following joint appeals by the European Union and the United States for voluntary codes of conduct for AI. It took how many hours, days and nights it will still take for your hard work and for having found a balanced and human-centered approach to the world's first AI Act, legislation that will no doubt be setting the global standard for years to come. MEPs say AI can be a force for good in everything from fighting climate change to education if the systems are safe and ethical. Under the proposed law, they'd be categorized according to risk. The higher the risk, the more Emphasizing rules. international collaboration among countries that share similar perspectives. The European Union is currently developing the EU Artificial Intelligence Act, which aims to establish one of the initial regulatory frameworks for AI. Open AI the creator of the ChatGPT tool, is currently facing a lawsuit filed in a federal court in California. The lawsuit alleges that OpenAI has covertly appropriated and utilized extensive amounts of individuals' data obtained from the internet to train its AI tools. According to the legal action, OpenAI stands accused of conducting unparalleled data scraping activities, acquiring personal data without providing notice, obtaining consent or offering fair compensation. The lawsuit also includes Microsoft, a major investor in OpenAI, as a defendant. At the end of March, Italy made a significant move by becoming the inaugural Western nation to address the ChatGPT issue. The country's data protection authority stated that the developers of ChatGPT lacked a legal framework to validate the retention and gathering of users' personal data, which was essential for training the algorithms employed on the platform. Specifically, the complaint asserts that OpenAI's products employ unlawfully acquired private information, which encompasses personal data from hundreds of millions of internet users, including children of all ages, without their informed consent or awareness. Timothy K. Giordano, a partner at Clarkson, the law firm representing the lawsuit, expressed concerns that OpenAI's actions have exposed everyone to potential risks. By collecting undisclosed personal data from millions of individuals and utilizing it to develop an untested and volatile technology, OpenAI has allegedly endangered individuals' privacy. Online services, including social media platforms, e-commerce stores and multimedia content providers, gather data about users' online behavior. They employ AI techniques such as machine learning to analyze this data and enhance the user's experience. Additionally, AI-powered devices like smart speakers rely on processing user data, including personal information. The utilization of AI in real-world applications, such as transportation, raises concerns regarding human safety. It emphasizes the necessity of designing systems that can effectively respond to unforeseen circumstances while minimizing unintended negative outcomes. While the focus has predominantly been on self-driving cars, the possibility of developing other autonomous systems, including lethal autonomous weapons, has sparked intense debates about the potential consequences they may have on human safety. Hi, Jimmy. You, you are so cute. You're pretty cute too. Oh my goodness! Wow. I wish I could. Uh, I could take you home. Someday soon you can. Just go to HansenRobotics.com to see how I'm doing. Wow. I'm going to. Okay. I will do that. Okay, little Sophia. I'm going to put you back down now. Okay. Wow. That just kind of scared me as well as that. Relying too heavily on AI systems can result in a decline in creativity, critical thinking abilities, and human intuition. It is crucial to find a middle ground between AI-supported decision-making and human involvement in order to safeguard our cognitive capacities. The automation driven by AI carries the risk of job displacement in multiple sectors, particularly impacting workers with lower skill levels. Humanity learns from its past, determined to create a future where the power of AI is harnessed responsibly. ...here in this room behind me are trying to hash out a new approach under which artificial intelligence uses would be classified and then regulated according to their perceived level of risk. So, for example, some uses of AI would be banned outright under these plans. For example, social scoring. Then there are other uses which would be considered high risk and therefore subject to quite hefty restrictions and regulations. 
qualifications. Those include, for example, the use of AI in recruitment, so sifting through... And serves as a tool for progress, rather than a threat to our existence.